Hey guys, I'm Michael Simon. We are in my home kitchen in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm gonna make one of my son Kyle's favorite dishes, a pork stir fry. Now, when you make a stir fry, a couple things that are imperative. One, you have to have everything ready before you start because this is really high heat, quick cooking. And this is why I love my Blue Star range because I'm gonna be over the 25,000 uh, BTU burner. And watch this, you don't need a wok ring. You just pull the ring off the top, you set your wok right on top, turn it to high, and we're off to the races. Now, this is why I love the open and not the sealed burners too, because that heat is coming from every angle, which is really allowing our wok to get incredibly hot. So while the wok is getting hot, I'm gonna whisk together everything so this dish comes together lickety split. I have the juice and the zest of some limes, two limes, soy sauce, a little bit of chili flake for that bite. This is like American stir fry and some sugar. And we just whisk this together. And we're gonna set it right over by our wok, which you can see is getting hot. And that's what I love. I have some cilantro chopped. That's gonna go in at the very end just to finish off the dish. And here I have a pork tenderloin that we are just gonna cut in to little medallions. Now I'm using tenderloin, you could use loin here. You could even use a pork butt and cut it into very thin slices, which would be a little uh, less expensive. So after I cut my pork tenderloin up, I'm gonna make sure that it's seasoned relatively aggressively with a little bit of salt and pepper. So a little bit of kosher salt on top, a little bit of cracked black pepper on top. Now, if I was making this at a fancy restaurant, I would probably use sesame oil. It has a high smoking point, absolutely delicious. I never really have sesame oil in my home kitchen, but we're gonna get all those uh, Asian flavors because of the soy and the chili and the cilantro. And I have olive oil here, so that's what I'm gonna use. So olive oil is gonna go in the pan and it is gonna be extremely hot and smoking, close to catching on fire. In goes our pork. We're gonna gently set that in right in the oil. And you could really see the magic of what 25,000 BTUs of power causes. And because we have that open flame and the burners aren't sealed, everything is gonna sear very, very quickly in here. Quick browning, quick heat, that's really what a stir fry is all about. So you could see that caramelization is happening in very quick manner. I give the pork a quick flip. This, because the, the wok is so embedded into the flame, the heat is very, very intense. So in a minute or two, you could flip it. To that, we're gonna add some broccoli. We're gonna add some toasted peanuts. We're gonna take this quick sauce that we made uh, with the soy and the citrus and all that deliciousness, the chili flakes, we're gonna add that on top. Just gonna grab my wok now and toss it together very quickly. Add a little bit more fat to that. You can take a look and you can see how you're doing here. The pork cooks quick because it's thin. If it needs a little more cook time, if you need a little more cook time, you could just take a splash of water, get the rest of those goodies out of your bowl, add that in, and it kind of deglazes the bottom of that pan and really makes the sauce come together. as that sauce is starting to reduce, the pork, the broccoli, everything, the flavors are melding, everything's cooking. Give it a quick taste. It's actually perfect. <laughs> How do you like that? 
So when the sauce, when that water that you added is reduced by like a third, I'm going to grab my fresh cilantro. I'm going to pour it right on top. I'm going to take this off the heat. Give it one more quick toss onto our plate. And we have a quick Midwestern American style stir fry that we have done literally in about three minutes from when it hits the heat till it's done. Quick, delicious. Kyle's going to be very happy. You need to dig in.